the uae and gcc patients now need not travel to the west for any assisted reproduction treatment we specialize in a technology called ivf light or minimal stimulation ivf which is most useful for older women women with a poor ovarian reserve and women with previously failed ivf the biggest favor or the biggest boon that ivf light has given this country is to the older women who are at the ends or the borderline of their reproductive careers these women were doomed to a life without their own genetic children now with the advent of ivf light even these 39 or 40 year olds can still produce that one or two eggs each month that we can accumulate collect at the end genetically analyze their embryos and give them a chance to have their own normal baby in conventional ivf usually a woman takes heavy hormonal injections for about 2 weeks beginning from first or second day of her periods in ivf light our aim is to make the ivf as patient compliant and as patient friendly as possible so instead of the daily injections for 2 weeks the patient takes tablets fertility tablets that she takes twice a day almost 30 injections are replaced by just 3 or 4 injections in the whole cycle medical research tells us that milder the stimulation the better are the quality of eggs the better is the quality of embryos more important you have more genetically normal embryos that are generated from mild stimulation protocols our aim is not to make 20 eggs or 15 18 eggs as is the aim in conventional ivf our aim is to make just two three or four eggs each month we have a wonderful technology called cryotech vitrification where by we can freeze the eggs and that is the cornerstone or pillar stone of ivf life so with these mild protocols you get a higher chance of getting a normal baby and quicker in fact there is a landmark paper why more is less and less is more in ivf it explains the same things that Today the world is moving towards milder stimulation. Initially IVF light was created or devised only for women with a poor ovarian reserve, women who don't make too many eggs. That means even with hard stimulation they would throw out just one, two or three eggs, always less than four eggs. IVF light came first for this group of patients. later on the indications expanded to previous failed cycles older women above the age of 37 38 obese patients patients who have a weight problem and today we have extended the indications to even a separate group called patients with endometriosis which is another disease the world is moving towards segmented ivf that means eggs being picked up in one cycle and transfer being done in another cycle so ivf life might become mainstream it's very good for the large population that really cannot afford the expensive injections the entire cost of ivf also comes down when you eliminate the expensive drugs so all in all i feel that aster is also doing a big social change by bringing in more affordable technologies in this part of the world what this technology has really done has changed the social interface of this region we are trying to help the group of patients who have sort of given up on having their own genetic child women who are in their late 30s or early 40s and have resigned themselves to living without their own genetic child without their own genetic offspring can now have a genuine chance of begetting their own child using minimal stimulation ivf or ivf light we welcome you to come and consult with one of our consultants here to know more about the technology